Hello everyone, uh, so I'm here with a bit of a haul from Winners Marshall's Home Sense um, and these things have been collected over the past maybe two or three weeks. So I do have a lot of exciting uh, Korean skincare that I've been finding. Um, some some of the Winners Marshalls have it, some don't. Well, they, they all have some kind of Korean kind of products, um, but these particular ones um, uh, we're in mostly in a specific uh, Marshalls here in town. So you do have to look around. London, Ontario here has lots of winners of Marshalls. So yeah, I, I do check out a few. Um, so yeah, if they're not in one, they may be in another. So I'll just start with some miscellaneous items, get those out of the way first. Uh, so I do love collecting little napkins. Um, and uh, the ones that are in the shape of the object, I really do like. So I did find um, this succulent uh, paper uh, napkins, and it's in the shape of a succulent. And this one, there's a few fall items kind of dribbling in slowly. Probably within the next two weeks, they're just going to be an avalanche of um, stuff. I did find um, one row of... Um, fall decor and then one uh, row of Halloween stuff already. Um, but these little napkins are in the shape of an acorn. So I thought it was so cute. They did actually have matching plates to go with this one, but I didn't get the, the plates. And then there's this cute little chicken with the multi-colored tail. So yeah, I just, I don't know, there's just, Every time I eat a meal, I have to have just a nice little napkin. What can I say? Um, and also, uh, we do have a compost bin in the backyard uh, for yard waste and vegetables and fruit. And um, we even put our dryer lint in the composter and that sort of thing. And uh, just under one of our uh, cupboards in the kitchen, we keep our little compost bin until it's full and then we take it out to the compost. Um, so this one does have a filter on the top, so you can't really smell it in that. But sometimes when you empty it out, um, even when I wash and disinfect it, it can still kind of smell a little bit. So I, I did pick this up previously and I saw two on the shelves and I thought, well, before it disappears, I'll just sort of stock up on this because it does work fairly well to really eliminate the odors in our little uh, com portable compost uh, bin in the kitchen. And it's by Green Dolphin. It's the Green Bin Deodorizer. Clean, deodorizes, eliminates odor, and it's uh, biodegradable. So yeah, I did pick up a couple of those. And then, whoopsies, dropping things already. All right, um, so for the Korean skincare, uh, I was very, very surprised to find Beauty of Joseon uh, there. Uh, this is a very popular brand right now. Uh, the sunscreen particularly is one of the most popular sunscreens in the sort of sunscreen community. Um, so this is, yeah, B Beauty of Joseon. So this is what the packaging looks like. And this is their ginseng essence water and I have just finished off a bottle of this and I was going to order again from Style Vanna. So they have this for $12.99 in Marshalls. And now this is 80% uh, ginseng water. So ginseng is um, a very popular herb that's found in Asian foods and uh, skin care. It's very, very popular. has been probably for a few thousand years. Um, so it does have anti-aging proper properties and you can sort of see the color of it. Now if this was a very concentrated ginseng um, instead of just the ginseng water, it would be extremely expensive. Ginseng is very expensive. If you get skin care that has a very concentrated ginseng, it's it's a lot of money. Um, so this was $12.99. I think I usually get this off style van and I think it's around the same price. I think I've gotten it for like $10 Canadian off style Vanna. But yeah, this one has um, 
So yeah, it has anti-aging properties. It's an antioxidant. Um, it also has niacinamide, which helps regulate um, oil production. I have dry skin, so I mean, it doesn't it's, it doesn't dry up my skin or anything like that. And it also has adenosine, which helps um, with age spots. And niacinamide helps with um, post acne uh, blemish spots or sunspots, that sort of thing. So yeah, I have gone through a bottle of this. It it um, absorbs quite quickly. It doesn't leave a sticky feel or anything like that. Do you need a toner? No, not necessarily. I do love them because especially the Korean toners have so much yummy ingredients in them. It's not like the North American toners. These ones just have so many good ingredients in them. So I always wash my face and then immediately while my face is still a little bit damp, I put the toner on and then I follow with, you know, vitamin C during the day or my retinol at night and the rest of my skincare. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I uh, was very surprised because this is such a popular item. I was very surprised to see it and this doesn't expire till July of 2025. So it, um, a lot of them there have like, uh, Korean products have like a three-year shelf life. Once you open them, you do have to use them within a year. Uh, but so this was manufactured fairly recently. It's it's not expired. It's nowhere close to being expired. Uh, so always check. Uh, Japanese skincare usually doesn't have an expiry date, but Korean skincare does. And then I did get, and I have had this previously also, it is a serum. Uh, by the same company, Beauty by Josen. And this is uh, a serum which is ginseng and snail mucin. So again, the ginseng with anti-aging, antioxidant properties. Snail mucin is very uh, soothing, moisturizing, healing. And uh, now this was $12.99 also. And you get just 30 mils. Uh, th this toner you get, um, I think it's 150 mils, which is a, usually the average size you get for a toner but this one you only need like two or three drops with the snail mucin in there it's very viscous so it, it spreads quite a bit so you don't need to use a lot of it um but yeah so yeah very surprised and very happy to find beauty of josen there all righty um so uh this is a korean product also and this is the packaging so this one, the main ingredient is honey. So honey has a lot of very amazing um, benefits for the skin. It's an antibacterial, so it is good for acne. Uh, it speeds up any healing. Um, it reduces any inflammation. It's a natural exfoliator, so it keeps leaves your skin uh, very smooth. Um, and there's also propolis, which is, uh, so you have the honey, which the bees make, and then you got the propolis, which is the bee glue, which kind of holds the hive. It's that waxy substance that holds the hive kind of together. Um, so both of these, sometimes you'll just find honey in, in a certain product, or you'll just find propolis, or you'll find both of them. They're pretty interchangeable. They both have the same benefits. Um, but propolis is also um, anti-aging, antioxidant, it brightens the skin, it's anti-inflammatory, etc., etc. So yeah, propolis or honey, there's not a lot of difference. So I found this um, Korean company, Formal B, and I haven't tried anything from them. Um, and this is the uh, cream, and they have the most gorgeous packaging. Uh, Oops, I'm dropping like literally everything. But look at the packaging. It's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, so I looked online and this was uh, 50 mils of the cream for, I think it was 34 Canadian. But, and I think it was Marshall's I found this. Um, you get the right package here. Okay, I ripped it apart. Uh, it was $12.99. So, yeah, $34 or $12.99. I'll take the $12.99 one. Now, I did check the expiry date, and it is 
September of 2024, so about 14 months or so from now. So yeah, I'll get that used up quite quite fine. So of course it has honey in it, which has its benefits. But it also has shea butter and ceramide. Shea butter, anything I use with shea butter, and it's so moisturizing. And ceramide's normally found on the upper um, layers of your skin, and it acts like mortar for your cells. So it prevents any moisture loss and keeps your moisture locked in. So yeah, honey, shea butter, ceramides, yeah. And yeah, the packaging is just love the packaging and then um i did get the serum this is uh vitamin c night glow serum uh so i got i think this is an ounce too yeah 30 mils or an ounce again a little goes a long way and online this was 28 canadian and i got it for 9.99 so yes i'll Great deal. Again, it doesn't expire for another 14 months or so. Again, the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, very, very excited to see that. Now they usually have a little, all the Korean um, creams have a little spatula. So you don't have to put your fingers in there. You just scoop it out, keeps it more hygienic. But I dropped it somewhere. But anyway, I got lots of backups, but. They usually do have those. Alrighty. Um, oh, so face mask. I actually found JM Solution face mask. Now, if you've seen some of my empty videos, this is probably Annie's Way is one of my favorite um, face facial masks. And then JM Solution is definitely my favorite. Um, so yeah, oh, I, I've never seen them in uh, Marshalls or Winners, and this was a very good price. So you get 10 masks for $7.99. So yeah, that's a very good price. Um, so this one I have not tried. This is the Natural Coffee Mask, which is uh, calming, gives lightweight hydration to your skin. So I haven't tried the coffee one before, uh, but I always like the ingredients that are in these JM Solution ones. Now, some of these JM Solution, sometimes they just absorbed right away and it doesn't leave a sticky feel. Other masks, depending on the formula, can feel a little bit sticky in that, <clears throat> but I always put a mask on before bedtime, so it's no big deal for me. I just cover it up with my serums and my moisturizer. But yeah, I haven't tried the coffee one. They also had um, the Honey Luminous Pro Propolis um, mask, but I didn't get this that one because I found this huge toner. I've never found a toner this big before. Uh, this is um, the Honey Luminous Royal Propolis toner. And I went over the benefits of the Honey and the Propolis. Now, my biggest toner that I've ever had was 500 mils, which is a half a liter. <laughs> this one is 600 mils, so it beats that. Like, this thing is absolutely huge. And the expiry date on this one... Okay, they put it in black. 20, 2025, uh, so just under two years or so. So, yeah, this is a huge toner. I never use cotton pads when I use toners. I just splashed into my hand and just splashed on my face and pat it in. Um, I just find it less wasteful that way. I just never use cotton pads for toners. So um, what you could do if you, this thing's huge. I think it was, uh, it's like $12.99 for 600 mils. So yeah, I just was shocked to, to see that price. What I do is I bought these mask off of yes style a couple of years ago and i have been using them and oh i i honestly don't know how many's in here i couldn't find how many there's a few hundred anyhow so what i do this is what it looks like and it's very stretchy um so you can really kind of conform it to your face so what i do is i take my favorite toner or essence and i just soak it with the toner and then I have my own kind of homemade mask. 
Now this one, I can't remember how many, how much it costs. It was under ten dollars, but yeah, you get like a few, a couple hundred at least. Or um, if you can't find those, I find these in my um, Mini So, which is like a chain store here, and they sell Asian products. But they sell these compressed masks, and this is what they look like. And this one has like. Oh, I don't know how many's in here. 30 pieces. So you open this up, you soak it with your toner, and it is one of these little masks, but it's just compressed. Whoops! I am dropping everything. Um, so yeah, if you want to make some inexpensive mask, um, yeah, just take your favorite toner or your essence, um, buy one of these uh, products online. I'm I buy I bought mine off yes style you can just check online I'm sure other places sell it or Asian stores in your city may sell these but yeah it's a very inexpensive way to make a mask so alrighty so yeah that was uh, quite an amazing deal and I also found some other jam solution mask um, now these ones I checked the expiry date and this is um, January of 2024. So I still have like, what is it, August, September, October, November, December, five months to use them up. So I usually use a mask every other night at least three times a week. So no problem using them up. Um, so this is uh, Jam Solution Mix Berry and it looks like it has honey on there also. So there's five masks in here for $4.99, so about a dollar a mask. And then I got two of these. Um, this is blended tea flower mask. So this actually has tea in it, which is also very good for your skin. It's uh, like an antioxidant and it helps clear up acne or um, it's just very soothing. And um, it also has lots of different uh, berries in here, which are antioxidants. So yeah, again, $4.99 for five masks. All right, and then... Um, I do love almond scents. Um, I don't need any more hand wash, uh, but I love almond scents. And this uh, soap I found in uh, Home Sense is $5.99 for 500 mils. So you do get quite a bit and it's made in Italy. And oh, it smells like almonds. Strong, strong smell of almonds. I love it, love it. And, um, also, I found these Australian body scrubs. Now, I, I do like the Shea Aromatherapy body scrubs I find in HomeSense and Marshalls. Um, and this is also a, a Australian company. It's by Sereo. Um, it is the sugar body scrub. It's infused with shea butter, jojoba oil, and aloe. So it's very moisturizing. And this is in cucumber and green apple. And I love the packaging, it has that kind of clear plastic there. So this is um, $7.99 and you get, what do you get? How many mils? Oh, looking right at it, 600 grams or 21 ounces. So yeah, it's quite a bit. Now this one's cucumber and green apple, but it's fairly light. I have used it a couple times. But yeah, it's, I don't get a lot of cucumber or maybe a, a hint of green apple. But it's more perfumey and it's a little bit light. So I've tried this a couple of times. And it doesn't leave that kind of oily slick on your skin. Um, it does rinse off quite nicely but still moisturizes. And then this one is uh, Blueberry and Manuka Honey. This one really smells good. This one's a bit stronger. Oh yeah, it's really, really yummy. So yeah, that's a very good price, $7.99 for that huge little tub there. And then, um, oh, I did found, I found this eye palette and I don't need any more eye palettes, God knows. But I think I got it more uh, because there's Winnie, Winnie the Pooh on it. And I I do like kind of collecting Winnie the Pooh stuff. It just brings back really great memories of um, 
uh, my kids when they were growing up and that. Uh, but it actually is really cute. So this is kind of a cardstock, 3D cardstock of uh, Winnie the Pooh. Now it just says Disney Winnie the Pooh. I couldn't really find... It just says Centric Beauty, which I've never heard of, but anywho. And then inside, you get a mirror, and then you get little little poo there looking at the flowers. And then, whoop, and these are the colors here. Now, actually, the mats aren't too bad, actually. Um, I mean, it's not the most pigmented um, palette I've ever had, certainly. Um, but it's, it's not bad. And the shimmers are actually these... Um, Kind of a different formula with the shimmer. This is a shimmer. Um, but it's kind of that creamy kind of um, formula rather than like a powdery formula. Now the other, that's about the strongest or the, the, the most colorful shimmer. These are the other shimmers. So yeah, they don't show up too, too much. So they're, they're pretty subtle. But I mean... Um, yeah, it was just so darn cute, and I just, anything with Winnie the Pooh on it. Alrighty, um, almost done here. Uh, the last thing is, um, uh, now these Giovanni, uh, they're leave-in conditioning elixirs. Uh, so I've been using these for a few years now, and I really, really do like them. Um this morning I got caught in the rain taking the puppies out the radar lied I didn't get soaked or anything but yeah my hair went Shh. um so I did put in some of this silkening hair serum by Giovanni and it's kind of a thick very thick gel and uh yeah I put it in and my frizziness just disappeared and um added a lot more shine well it doesn't look too shiny but it did add a lot more shine in that but these Giovanni products I really really like so after I wash my hair I always um put in a leave-in conditioner just because my hair is very thick and it gets very frizzy especially in the the hot humid um weather so um this one is, now they're all very similar looking. These are a couple that I just purchased this one and this is the one I have right now. And I got one in my travel bag also because they're small and they're good for traveling. Um, so this is Ultra Sleek Leave-In Conditioning and Styling Elixir. This is Brazilian Keratin and Moroccan Argan Oil. So it smooths, detangles, and reduces frizz, sedu seduces with smooth softness and shine uh defends against split ends um but they are so good um I, yeah excellent for um controlling frizz in the summertime on those hot humid days i really really like it they smell wonderful this is about 7.99 um you get four fluid ounces which is i mean it's not a lot um but it's it's absolutely worth it and then this one I just purchased. Um, so they all do kind of the same thing. This is detangle, smooths, conditions, tames, frizz, and flyaways. And this is in Subaki and uh, white tea. And then this one I've been using quite a bit. Um, this is uh, Frizz Be Gone Anti-Frizz Hair Balm. So this one is so good at controlling frizz. Um, and it doesn't weigh my hair down too much. I mean, you ser it takes a lot of leave-in conditioner to weigh down my hair just because it's, it's a lot of it and it's thick. But if you do have very fine hair, then you yeah, you do have to kind of take it easier. It may weigh down your hair. But I don't find these weigh down my hair too much at all. So this one is Shea Butter and Sweet Almond Oil, which are both so moisturizing. Um... Medium hold reduces frizz and flyaways. Yeah, this one is really, really good. So yeah, I find these in Marshalls and Winners, and um, I right uh, the last time I went, I didn't see any, but they kind of come and go, so you kind of have to watch out for them. But yeah, they absolutely worth it. Oh, so much, so much hot air in here. Um, I overheated. <laughs> And the camera too. So anyway, yeah, exciting, exciting finds. Um, yeah, so happy to see this Korean skincare. Um, yeah, I 
just love Korean skincare. Um, my skin loves it, and yeah, amazing prices if you can find these products in um, Marshalls or um, Winners, which is TJ Maxx in the States, TK Maxx in the Britain if you're new to the channel here. Um, so anyway, yeah, very exciting. Um, happy to share it with you. So uh, everyone take care, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.